Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, in this particular example, let's see how we can use the relativistic regime with energy and momentum to help us understand fundamental interactions of particles. Um, so for this question, we have a neutral pion of rest mass m and relativistic momentum three force mc decays into two photons. What a weird, weird thing to have here. We'll see why. One of the photons is emitted in the same direction as the original pion, the other in the opposite direction. Find the relativistic energy of each photon. What we need to know, of course, is the relativistic energy and momentum. And then what we have is a special case of energy for photons. All right, so here is the energy and momentum that we're used to seeing, relativistically speaking, the rest mass energy. Um, but the thing with the photons is they don't have a rest mass. So we have to have a special energy where E is equal to PC. Um, and this is the photon that we are going to have to be careful of in the conservation equations that we have. So let's see how to deal with this. All right. So the first thing that we need to do is calculate the pion's energy EI. Again, if we're going to have a conservation we need to have the initial and the uh before and the after so the initial and final so ei squared well we'll just add that momentum over and then we see that we were given a uh relativistic momentum of three fourths mc squared plug it in we have a c squared from the formula m squared c is a fourth nothing new uh now you see that we just have it nine sixteenths same uh common factors here so plug it on through that's 16 over 16, so that's how we get 25 over 16, or 5 fourths mc squared. Cool enough, we like that. Now, conservation of energy states that the energy before and after, what we know about the before is that we have 5 fourths mc squared. What we know about after is that we have two photons, and this is where we're going to have to be careful, photon A and photon B. Uh, but we can use conservation momentum, momentum to help us here. So PI and PF have to equal the same. That's conservation. We were told we had a momentum of 3 fourths MC and PA and PB here. The thing about the PB and the PA is that we were told that one of them went in the original direction, one of them went in the opposite direction. So based on the fact that we have uh, the energy of the photon is equal to P uh, times C, we could solve for the momentum, which is E over C. And so what we see here is that we have EA over C minus EB over C because the minus sign came from the fact that one of them had to go in the opposite direction. So don't be alarmed. The energy isn't necessarily negative. That comes from the fact of the uh, momentum conservation. That being said, both of them have a 1 over C and we're left with EA minus EB. And we see that if we multiply that C over, we're left with 3 fourths MC squared equal EA minus EB. Uh, so, well, we have two equations and two unknowns. Let's see what we can do about it. Um, so if we add the two equations together, we see that the EB terms cancel. So we're left with a combination. Um, five fourths and three fourths give us eight over four, and that's equal to two EA. So photon A, photon A, since EBs cancel. And this tells us that EB is equal to MC squared. Since we have uh, 2 over mc squared and then we have 2ea, that makes it real easy. What we see here also is that uh, eb from the um, momentum equation, we just add that over minus, uh, yeah, add it over minus across. We see that, uh, that looks like I have a sign error somewhere, my bad. Uh, but that being said, um, with that being the case, we have, no, five, yeah, five, that should be a five, excuse me, that's a copy paste error. Because uh, we have 5 fourths mc squared minus ea. So, yeah, everything else is right. Because 4, yeah, 5 over 4 minus 4 over 4 gives us 1 over 4. So, yeah, that should be a 5. My apologies. Uh, but nonetheless, you have two equations, two unknowns. So, regardless of my typos, not too hard to find. The only difference is that we what we had to know is that since photons don't have a rest mass, we cannot use a uh, momentum in the same way or the rest mass energy in the same way. So EA and EB were hard to define, and we had to use it via the momentum conservation equation. And like I said, photons are one of those tricky things. 
and we'll have to deal with more of them here soon. So we'll see you then.